Hi, I'm Chris Kenworthy and I'm going to show you how to take this background footage and add a new sky to it. So, take the plate movie, drop it on the create new composition button. I've got a composition of the right length there. Now you can bring the sky in like that and uh, just change, I'm right clicking, changing the blending mode to multiply and you can get an idea of roughly how that might look once it's in place. Uh, but first of all, we'll just make it invisible and then we're gonna track this footage here. So with the tracker control showing, click on track motion. Now because the sky is so far in the background, you only need to pick a point that's moving. You don't have to track it as though it's a, a 3D object, which makes this all a bit simpler. So you can see here, I'm picking an area of high contrast. I could go for any of these pebbles, but I find that it tends to work best for something reasonably small and high contrast, so we'll go with that. My options are set for sub-pixel positioning and luminance. You can play with these a little if it's not working first time out, but that should work for this clip. And then click Analyze Forward. And you can see there that because I've selected a fairly large search area around it, it's tracking that quite accurately. Um, it will work faster if you use a smaller search area, but obviously be less accurate. Down here you can see it's automatically clicked the motion target as new sky TIFF. So we don't have to bother setting that. So as soon as it gets to the end, you can see there's a lovely smooth track there. Just hit apply. And go back to the beginning of the comp and make new sky visible. Now it's in the wrong place, obviously. So select it, hit A to bring up the anchor positioning and just drag the anchor settings like that until it's where you want it to be. Now I'm going to just move through the clip a little to see how it looks further on to see if that's where I want it and then drag these again I think something like that. Now generally when you're um, doing sky replacement you'll be advised not to let things show through as they are doing here. The clouds are showing through the tree and the trees over here and that supposedly looks unrealistic. In actual fact by the time we finish this because we're going to add some sunlight here this won't matter that uh, that you've got stuff showing through. It's not worth worrying about if the overall effect works. So let's just play that through. You can see we've got a pretty good track there. Okay, the next thing to do is to mask this off ever so slightly. So using the pen tool, and I'm just gonna pull this down like that so you can see what we're doing. And just go in and draw a fairly rough mask under the tree line like this. Doesn't have to be too precise. And then we'll hit F bring up the feather tools and just feather that out. Now using the selection tool you might want to adjust this so that stuff, sh you know, you've got clouds showing through the leaves there. Now technically speaking those have been multiplied but um, it just looks to me as though you're seeing the cloud through those. If no one suspects a sky replacement they don't see it so it's okay to have that looking like that. Might be worth just checking through to the end of the footage here. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. That mask wasn't wide enough, so I'll just widen it out. So that's all showing through there. And if you don't like the way that's going, you can you can soften it through here if you want, but I prefer to see that right down to the tree line. Okay, so that's the essential sky replacement. Now we need to make it look a bit more realistic. So let's bring in Sunshine, Photoshop document and set the blending mode to add. And then we're gonna parent this using the parenting lasso here onto new sky. Then hit A and adjust its anchor points. And just bring
bring it over to the tree here. The reason I'm picking that spot, apart from the fact this is where the sunset color is anyway, is it helps distract from the fact that there's this darkening of the cloud showing through the tree here. Um, part of the skill of using After Effects is not just using the technicalities but finding ways to make things work visually. So even though technically speaking you shouldn't have cloud showing through a tree branch, this works visually because no one's ever going to suspect that the sky replaced it. Okay, with that done, your clip is pretty much ready to go. That works all the way through. Um, to finish it off, it's nice to give the whole thing a, a single color gray. So what I would do is select all those layers and pre-compose them and then apply a filter to give it an overall look. You can use anything that's in After Effects as standard, but I'm going to use Magic Bullet Mojo here and just bleach it, warm it, and that give it a less dredge. And that really sells the effect. Uh, you could get the same effect with the controls in the color correction tools that come with After Effects, but that's just a quick and easy way of doing it.